another beautiful Friday and you know how we do it? Yes, we gather here and we come with good news to the couples. We come here to tell you that marriage works. Yes, though there are challenges out there, definitely it works. Though it is work and so it requires a lot of work for it to work. So karibuni sana. This is Couples Will Show and this is where we ride down our love with when we are alive. For we don't want our loves to be red when we are six feet under. Neither do we want our loves to be red when we are gone. Yes, and my name is Willie Kinyash. And out there they call me Dr. Love. I'm at the undisputed. Yes, and if this is your first time to be here, Karibu Sana, and kindly make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes, we are here every Friday. Uh, from 9.45 p.m. East African time. And we come here to encourage couples there and those people who are in relationships that that relationship can work and that marriage can work. And tonight, I am having a lovely couple. Yes, they are here to share their love story with us. And I can assure you, you are going to enjoy it. Yes, I am hosting the miners and they are coming to us from redeemed gospel church tola goigua they are the senior pastors there reverend minor and his beautiful wife karibu nisana hello guys hello man of god yes good to have you here oh i'm grateful to be here we have planned this yeah. for a decade sure. <laughs> Long time. I thank yes, God. I thank God. but God's time is the best. It's the best time. Tuko salama. Yes. We thank God for His grace. Amen. His mercies have been so abundant to us. Amen. We thank God. How is Tola? Tola is doing well. <laughs> we are still preaching the gospel. Yes. And the Lord is doing marvelous. Wow. We thank God. Yes. Glory to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Karibu to the couples will show. Yes. Thank you. Karibu ma'am. Thank you so much. Kindly you can say hi to our viewers yes. and uh, introduce yourself. Okay. How are you everyone? Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Joyce and I'm born again. We are here to confirm to you that marriage works. It has worked for us. This is our 14th year in marriage and we want to thank God. God bless you. Wow. Amen. Yes. Pastor. Yes. 14 years. 14 years. Modo <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. wow. Yeah. Hey, that's grace. Yeah. Yes. Can you say hi to our viewers? Hello, viewers. My name is Reverend Paul Miner. I'm born again. I love Christ and personal Savior. I'm grateful to be in this show. It's wonderful to have you. I'm grateful. So our God is good. Yes. Yes. But maybe there's someone who is wondering. They are saying they are pastors. Where do they pastor? Where is this church? Maybe there's someone who would love to come and uh, pay you a visit. Wow. We pastor at Torah, Goigwathika. That's where we pastor. We have been there for around now. We are getting to our fifth year. We have been pastoring there. So anytime you're around Goigwa, you're around Thika, you're around... Uh, uh, Kiahuria, we tell you, you are so much welcome to our church. Redeemed Gospel Church, Torah Goigua. Wow. That's where we fellowship and we pastor. Thank you. Thank yes, you so much. This is my beautiful wife. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much for uh, honoring the invitation. Yeah. I am honored. Mm -hmm. And the whole team, we feel honored having you here. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Nanya Tanzia, him, who started this thing by the way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah. No, 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 no. He's the one. He's the one who started. He's the one. No, if he's the one who started, yeah. let me come to you then. I thought you're starting here. Okay, anyone can uh, pick it up from here. Mm -hmm. Where did you guys meet? Wow, a good question. <laughs> me, I was, we were studying in Thika. Uh, I was in a college, she was in another college, so I was actually in Dika College of Banking, she was in Excel College uh, Institute, of, in Excel Institute, that's where she was, but we, were, we used to meet in the hostel, <laughs> we had a fellowship in the hostel and we could pray every Tuesday, I think, yeah, yes, every, Tuesday. every Tuesday we could meet, <laughs> and I could spot a wonderful girl who was committed, <laughs> I was the chair, I was the coordinator of the fellowship. Mm -hmm. uh, because in the hostel also we had other people from various 
origins. Mm-hmm. So I mobilized people and we had a fellowship, a wonderful fellowship. We used to meet where we were taking uh, the dining hall. Mm-hmm. So I could spot a wonderful girl who was committed, uh, she was singing, she was smiling. Mm-hmm. And uh, after the fellowship, we could have uh, some time. Yeah. And uh, where, where do you come from? Uh, where is you? Where are you? Such stories. Uh-huh. And uh, every day we could, uh, immediately when we finished the fellowship, we could also have another kind of fellowship with her. The two of you. The two of us. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so that's how it started. Cooking. Uh-huh. Pole, 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 pole. Uh-huh. And uh, the girl could not uh, refuse coming to me. So we should... <laughs> We used to have that fellowship every time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know, she told me off here mm-hmm. that you were their pastor then. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. He, he, I was the coordinator of the whole, uh, the, the Christian Union. Yes. The fellowship. Uh-huh. You notice how young guys gather together and you like to grow spiritually. Yeah. So we ask the owner of the hostel if you can be gathering there uh-huh. and having a word of God or having a fellowship. Yeah. So I was the coordinator, so I was the pastor. Actually, they were calling me pastor. Wow. So, yeah, that's how I was. <laughs> Let's hear from Pastor Joy. Yes. Can you confirm? Uh, Pastor Willie, I want to confirm those words. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he was actually the pastor. <laughs> and other than just coordinating, he could pastor us very well. Wow. And uh, any time we could have the, those Tuesday meetings, we were longing for such. <laughs> okay, personally, I was longing for such. Because <laughs> even after having the fellowship together, <laughs> after that we could meet and have a word, word or two, <laughs> and we could enjoy ourselves. <laughs> so it has been a journey from college up to where we are. Wow. Yes. You know, there's something you have said that after fellowship, mm-hmm. you'd have another like, fellowship, <laughs> yes. the two of you. Yes. Mm-hmm. In your mind, mm-hmm. do you have something that uh, this this brother, this pastor of ours, mm-hmm. what is it that after <laughs> now the bigger fellowship, yes. you want to have fellowship with me? Yes. And the other girls here, yes. why me? Yes. Did you had such questions in your mind? Definitely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because I was wondering, why could he single me out yes. from other girls? <laughs> and uh, we just continued cultivating our friendship. <laughs> By that time, we could not say anything. We could just share the word of God extended and say... Oh, so this pray. fellowship is just... And just for sharing. It is more. Yeah. <laughs> and we could Actually. even share prayer points. <laughs> 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 so we could say, pray for my dad. Uh-huh. And remember, my dad was not born again. <laughs> pray for my sisters. <laughs> he could also share with me the prayer points from his fa- from, from his family, <laughs> and it continued like that <laughs> until now. I don't know where are we now. To be said, it was just a general friendship. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Just that we are coming, this this girl is becoming now, I can share with her mm. what is up, even my ups and downs. <laughs> I remember one day I was financially drained, I could tell her my, my problem, my challenges at home. <laughs> so it was totally a general friendship. Yeah. But she was cross because she couldn't understand, You could, you, I could feel her. Yeah. So generally she was just a, a good and a wonderful friend. Wow. Yeah. So at what point did you guys realize there is something more than this fellowship that is growing inside us? I think uh, in, in that was, we, it, it was in 203, 204, mm-hmm. then in 205, around 205, then the Kaspak. <laughs> I think this girl, this girl, I can take her for a cup of tea tea or coffee somewhere <laughs> and by then we didn't have money <laughs> you know we are in, in hostel we are hustling mm. so the best place i took i remember one day she was she she the uncle was living around thicker mm-hmm. so she sent her to go and buy maize metungos uh-huh. to, 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 to cook mokimo yeah so i took her for a walk mokireti around there <laughs> so we were chatting we were talking we were eating mahindi choma we couldn't afford to take a, in a nice hotel <laughs> then we could go to christina garden around the gardens around uh, thika mm-hmm. just having a normal chat mm-hmm. but the friendship was becoming tighter uh-huh. tighter because she invited me even to her uncle's praise uh-huh. we had the uncle's birthday which was wonderful i also invited some of my friends so my you didn't go alone i didn't go alone no <laughs> i was a pastor <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Pastor, so I, I could guard my name also. Yes. So in a in a wise way. But now the girl I could spot, she's she's nice. Mm. She's warm. Mm. Yeah, she was wonderful. Wow. Mm. So what made you uh, invite him uh, to your uncle's birthday? Wow. To me, by then I used to call him Paul. He was not just a friend. Mm. He was more than a friend. <laughs> yes, uh-huh. he was more than a friend. You know, someone you just sit down with, you know, we encourage one another. At least, even in your lowest time, mm-hmm. he's there to encourage you. Mm-hmm. You know, there are those challenges you could encounter in college, uh, especially financially. Mm-hmm. We could team up together. Mm-hmm. Yes, we don't have much, but mm-hmm. we can encourage one another mm. and continue growing in one from one level to the other. Mm-hmm. So somehow he was not just like any other person mm. in my life. Mm-hmm. He was more than a friend. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, how did you feel uh, knowing, you know, it's like you're saying he was like your pastor. Yes. How did you feel when you realized there's something growing? Mm-hmm. Uh, were you comfortable uh, Getting married to someone you're calling a pastor, were you comfortable with that? I didn't have any problem with that, Pastor Reed, because I had prayed. <laughs> and uh, part of my prayer, the, converse, the confirmation God had, had given me is that I'm getting married to a pastor. Oh, so, wow. In fact, by the time I was quoting him, I, 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 he could say that I'm not a pastor, but I could confirm to him, yes, you're saying you're not a pastor, but me, I know you I, are a get, pastor. I get married to a pastor. Wow. So I, it was just a confirmation to me because God had clearly spoken to me <laughs> that you're getting to, to be a pastor's wife. Wow. Yes. Amen. Yes. And so at what point now did you go and propose and how was that? Wow. Now, you see, as I'm saying, she, they were calling me pastor, but I just thought it's a nickname for the chairman or the coordinator. <laughs> but I was God-fearing, actually. I remember my testimony was known over the institution, the college, and the hostel. <laughs> I was saying, I'm going to, uh, m- my name is Paul, I'm going to heaven, heavenly Masa. <laughs> <laughs> so people used also to call me heavenly Masa. <laughs> now, this, this girl was close to me because she was like a confidant. Mm. It was not the issue of about love. She, I could open up to her. So uh, by then, she got an opportunity to go to campus mm-hmm. in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. So she came and told me, now I'm leaving and uh, I'll be in Nairobi. I'm, I got a campus somewhere. I'll be going there. So now I was wondering, this girl, my confidant is now gone. Uh-huh. I can, she, she understands me. You, you see, the, the, they were singing about her understanding. She was, <laughs> <laughs> she was... She was really understanding me. Uh-huh. That's the thing. That's the basis. She yeah. could understand. I could share my heart to her uh-huh. as the pastor or the coordinator. Uh-huh. So that's why I used to love her. Yeah. So now she is going to Nairobi. She is moving from Dika. Uh-huh. And now, because there is no string attached, yeah. I say that we'll also be keeping in touch and following this girl. Mm-hmm. This one that already we have to keep in touch. Yeah. So even after she left and go or went to campus, mm-hmm. we kept in touch that we were talking. Yeah. Actually, you know now from Dika to Nairobi is not far. Yes. So during weekends, in the evening, I could lunch there for a cup of tea. We meet somewhere at... Uh, the, 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 the hotel was called... Walkers somewhere. Oh, walkers. Walkers. Yes. Walkers. <laughs> walkers. But the insurance price are around Yes, up on Nairobi Cinema. Nairobi Cinema. Yes. 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 And this fellowship was not ending. <laughs> it was not, and this cup of tea was not ending. Ikisha, let her give a one or two. You are now confident. Yeah. I was leaving Nairobi maybe at uh, nine. Wow. Then, Nikikaka, <laughs> and then I was like, uh, I was I didn't have enough of her. Mm-hmm. So after the other week, mm-hmm. where are you? Then I find her coming again. Now coming from Nairobi to Dika. To Dika. Yes. To Dika. Mm-hmm. Now we still have a fellowship. Mm-hmm. We are talking issues about our families, about ups and downs, mm-hmm. and still about trusting God. Mm-hmm. And then we started praying. Mm-hmm. Actually, even up today, Tuesday is our prayer day. Wow. We started praying now because we have issues in our families. We have issues uh, uh, in our life. Can we choose that day? Mm-hmm. Tuesday we be praying and fasting. Where you in the lobby? 
me in Zika, mm. and then maybe they even we can exchange them. I remember <laughs> by then I didn't have my phone. <laughs> So even when I went home, Shags, I could use my dad's phone to call her. <laughs> so my dad could wonder, oh, this girl could, uh, my name is using my, my phone to call. <laughs> yes. And even this girl is also calling. <laughs> Through your dad's yeah. phone. <laughs> For me to go to campus, mm -hmm. as much as I loved the opportunity, mm -hmm. it was not very easy for me mm -hmm. to part with my 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 friend by then, my confidant, my confidant by then. Mm -hmm. But uh, we had to agree mm -hmm. that yes, it's an opportunity that has come. Mm -hmm. Let's and equip ourselves yeah. even for a better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So we could meet over the weekends, we could look for one another, mm -hmm. and we could just find ourselves just growing. Yeah. As much as we want to grow even in knowledge, mm -hmm. even in the word of God, we yeah. could grow together. Mm -hmm. As he's putting it, we could do prayers and fasting every mm -hmm. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Irrespective of whether you're together or not, mm -hmm. that we dedicated for our prayer, for our future. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Mind you, I, I was also a bit hesitant to tell her I love you because I knew if I tell a girl I love you, <laughs> it means I am going to marry you. And from the, the depth of my heart and purpose, I don't want to heartbreak any girl. <laughs> so I wanted also to know whether she is the right girl or the right lady before I make my move. Yeah. So this time, and I actually can advise our viewers, especially the young men, mm. take your time. <laughs> You know, this friend now have left to be just a friend. Yeah. She is now a special, he is now a special friend. Mm. He is a confident. Mm. And a confident, I mean. And still you are weighing. You are weighing no pima pima you are coming to the work. I'm a serious. I'm a she's the right one or you are feel you feel you are compatible. I don't say you must be compatible everything. Mm. But you feel now we are sitting in the same way. Yeah. So I, 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 I even this the fellowship is so tight, but still I'm hesitating to say I love you. So sometimes I, I like you and <laughs> Remember, I'm a man of God. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sending a danger lad when you when you go into the lane of a pastor? <laughs> That's a little serious. It's a serious engagement. Yeah. So you don't need to to go and tell every girl I love you. Yes. Mm -hmm. And maybe you have to break her, or maybe you are not, there is no no interest, and then you have engaged her, or you have. Put something in her heart. Mm. So you are still, I think even her, she was a good person and she was a good person. So I think it is important for, for, for us, before you, you completely engage your heart to somebody, would you have said this person is the right one? So now talking about that, mm -hmm. maybe there is a young man or even a young lady who is watching mm -hmm. us and wondering, how do I know this is the right person for me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me, I, I will say, time will tell, because despite being a coordinator of the Christian of the Christian Union, I was also in praise team in our church. Uh -huh. So there were other girls girls who were looking for me, mm. and actually they were learning literally after me. <laughs> I remember I was taken to our pastor one day by a girl. She was we were we were in the praise and worship team. <laughs> And she could see I'm a prospective uh, husband. Actually, her surname was mine. Ah. So she knew now if, she, if I, I marry her. I am not even changing ID. Changing I'm, 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 I'm good to go. <laughs> but I was still keeping boundaries because I knew mm -hmm. I, I, my heart is in crying to Joyce. Yeah. I was calling her Joy, my Joy. My Joy. My Joy. Wow. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, I, I, and I remember those days when this song of Joyce. Uh, Never mm -hmm. yeah, but that time that the song will quite be vuma kabisa. So when the, that song would hit, I could just SMS and tell her, can, can you listen to a Saturday in FM and uh, you listen to that song? Because I'm not feeling like my heart. Yeah, my heart. Yeah, my heart. Yes. So we kept on, we kept on, we kept on. I think. Uh, Ups and downs were happening in our life until like, when did I propose? 206. 206. Ah. That's when now. The corner, you do him as a There is a guy also who, uh, in campus where the, she was. Who was seeing her? 
That one. Let's, oh, let's hear from her. Let's hear from her. This, this wow. guy was seeing you. This guy, Pastor Yiri, <laughs> who had spotted me somehow. Uh-huh. And this guy is just uh, calling me for coffee. Yes. Uh-huh. Unfortunately, I could mention about my, my friend, my special friend Paul. Ah. But he could insist. We, were, we could do discussions together among other people. But somehow he could get into my reign so badly <laughs> to a point that I had to disclose to him yeah. that this and this is happening. Mm. How can we go about it? Mm. So the good thing, I will also advise the ladies there, when you're in courtship, mm. just be open to one another. Mm. I'm sure once you have proposed somebody, it does not mean other men does, do, do not see you. Yeah. So just discuss whatever challenges you're going through mm-hmm. uh, to your spouse or to your, to your, to your confidence so mm. that you can also be Pro, uh, fighting one enemy together. Yes. So this man, he could come, he could even do emails. I remember he started doing emails and pretending that he is a lady. Yeah. He is a lady. So that email could <laughs> say that I, know, I, I come from Pika and I want, I know you know Paul. And he could confuse me and my 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 friend by then. Yeah. Eh? And how how comes this special person in your life? He could call himself Cecil Cecil Marie. And yeah. he's a man. <laughs> so that that story did not add up so well because he had to confront him eh, at some point. And so how him. did you guys come to know about that? It was now that. we exchange a lot of notes now, and I told I told her. There is a guy who is uh, like uh, following me through on, on emails. By then, WhatsApps and uh, yeah, uh, they were not there. Mm. Yeah, emails were, were, were the, they were trending mm. uh, for, for communication. So, Cesare Marui talked to me and asked me, Do you know this girl? So, I was wondering, Who is this Cesare Marui called? This girl <laughs> was a lady called Cesare Marui. Then, after exchanging notes, she told me there is a guy who had been uh, chasing her. <laughs> So then I had to confront him. I told him, now, Joyce is my good friend. And let me tell you, you have to leave her. Yes. She's mine. Yes. By then, remember, I have not, you have not even proposed. Was, but I was actually guarding my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> remember, now in Vika, there is also this girl who is chasing me. Yes. Ah. But one thing that kept us moving on also, made us more closer <laughs> is because this girl was chasing me I could also open to her mm-hmm. ah. and I tell her there is a girl in charge who is doing one two three mm-hmm. actually she could give me cakes every time we go for practice hot cakes cakes hot cakes hot cakes I was Imagine, that, that's, that's a that message, message that is being sent and I think one thing we need to know is anytime somebody else is approaching you apart from now the person that you you, you are you are trying to say she is the right one you need to be telling them to be open mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. there is somebody else who is uh, interested in me and I to a friend a friend now he is coming in this way or she is coming in this way mm-hmm. so Cecil Marui is approaching her mm-hmm. <laughs> then me this girl and let me not disclose her <laughs> she is also approaching yes but this thing was open to both of us. Both of us. Ah, mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. So we kept communicating. We were also praying about it and mm-hmm. telling God what is now mm-hmm. uh, the way forward. Mm-hmm. So now to secure my territory, I had, had to propose for an engagement. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How was that? Wow. We call it at Kamukorofiaini. You know? Kamukorofiaini. <laughs> Imagine he did it at the Akamukorofia. That's an avocado tree. Yes. Uh-huh. So we were heading to their place. We were going to visit their place. That was, um, I think, around February 2 or 6. And then at some point he just stopped. He was driving. He just stopped. Wait a minute. This guy was driving then? Yes. But then you were driving. Okay? Yes. I, I think it was a borrowed one. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> but, <laughs> but he was driving. I was driving. Yes. Yeah. In her home. Yes. So, you know, you know this special friend you have now to, yeah. to, to, to take care of her. Yeah. So you have to borrow a car. Uh-huh. I was taking her home. Uh-huh. Then somewhere in a, a very remote shacks that are around before we leave her home. <laughs> then I, we stopped somewhere and then I told her, surprise! <laughs> I engaged her. It was wow, so it was nice. So How did so you feel? Nice. It was so nice, Pastor Willie. Wow. <laughs> I didn't expect that. 
I knew me was going home yeah. to say hi to mommy and daddy, <laughs> but just to see someone stopping somewhere, I didn't know even what he was going to do. <laughs> then he told me to alight the vehicle, and he was on his knee. Wow. <laughs> it was so nice. Wow. Yes. And to, to my joy, she accepted. Uh-huh. How could I have yeah. refused? Uh, <laughs> now you knew I have won her. <laughs> now won. she's mine. She is mine. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. It was wonderful. It was great. So we kept on uh, having this courtship. Uh, and the other thing we used to do, we kept our boundaries. Mm. Hmm. Actually, I can advise young people, don't be in a secluded place. Mm-hmm. So our courtship, we could do it at uh, Uhuru Park. You courted for how long? We courted for up from 206 up to 209. Three, good Three years. years. Because yes. we had, uh, she had to finish her education, also I had to finish my education. Mm-hmm. So there were some handles we have to jump before now we say, mm-hmm. this is the day that now we have to have our wedding. Mm-hmm. So after two or six now we are engaged and now we are moving on, uh, we are meeting. Mm-hmm. Then we, we used to, we, we had that hunger, even today, mm-hmm. we had serious hunger for God. Mm-hmm. We used to go for cashers every Friday, no Friday we could sleep. Mm. Every Friday we were going for cashers. So there was one cashier which was very famous in Pika called A.P. Chapel Kesha. Mm. So every time you find young people, young men learning to that cashier. Mm. So we used to go there. So she could come all the way from Nairobi to Dika and then we go for that cashier. Then that day, it was in 207, October. Uh, I remember we have left the Kesha in the morning. No, we don't want to talk about Kesha na mausingizi, mausingizi. We we took a cup of tea around the Thika, some errands. I want to buy this. I want to buy this, and I maybe I think around uh, eleven ish evening, so that I can go and uh, take a nap. I escorted that Thika bus stop. <laughs> then I left and ran to my cage to sleep. <laughs> Immediately after like 20, 25 minutes. I was called by a stranger through her phone. Uh-huh. And uh, this stranger was a man. And he told me, do you know Joyce? Yes. Do you know? Who is this now? Because she's a lady and I am hearing a voice of a, a man. She told me now the owner of this phone, they have, uh, she had been involved in an accident at Daruk. Oh. And we are headed to the Karebo 5. So do you know about her? Because that was the latest phone, uh, yeah. according the call records. Yeah. My, my phone was the last. So she could, uh, she used to call me Amwa. Even today we call each other Amwa. 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 Love. Love. Yes. So now I had to lash to Vika level 5. <laughs> At Kashwati, I found Joyce on the, on the bench. She's breathing all over the face. She's swollen. Her lips are broken. And now the joys have just left in a, like, a, like 20 minutes. She's another one now. Actually, I took my friend, one of my friends called Patrick. I told him, accompany me to the hospital. I, I, I can't believe. So to my surprise, Joyce is there, she is speaking in tongues, she is in pain, she is treating. You know, you know there are private, our, our public hospitals, they take some time before they take care of, the, of, the, of, of, of sick people. So I had, it was chaotic. I couldn't believe. So we started lashing now, calling people to help us. And I think the nurses were helping us to take her now to the, to the theatre. Now, I, I was mixed up, mm. but I was there from that time. I think I left the hospital at around 11 mm. when she was taken to Arakan Hospital. So it was, I actually, when I went back to my cage, I couldn't sleep. I was just wondering, now what happened? Mm. Because my girl was, was, was in pain. Wow. Yes. Now, we have to pick it from there. She is transferred to Aga Khan. Aga Khan. Mm-hmm. What happened next? Yes. Next Friday. Thank we you. We pick it from there. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming. Thank you. Wow. It's such a lovely love story. It started with a lot of joy. 
there is a coming to the end, there is such an agony. There is an accident. Joyce was involved in an accident. Now she's not well. She has been taken to Aga Khan Hospital. What happened next? Make sure Friday you join in so that you can know what happened from there. Thank you so much for joining in. My name is Will Kinyash. I'm a Dr. Love and I will call me the Undisputed. See you on Friday. Quiet. Thank you.